a big up on yourself, people, you know what I'm So technically, I'm up on the road, you see me, I say, you know what I'm still have to drop a video. Even though I'm up on the road, I do some work. Um, I'm going to speak about the coach situation. Um, you know, recently we see the two big, big names pop out, Dwight York and Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Oli at the wheel. <laughs> yeah, so those are the two big names that pop out in recent times. And apparently it look like, based off of reports, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer lead the way. Very, very interesting. Extremely interesting. Because I once told people that the reggae boy's job is a lucrative job. And... We keep on hearing people saying that there's nothing lucrative about it, nothing interesting in it, no top coach, no big name coach, nobody at all, not even mid rate, not, never, not even average coach would want to take up the Jamaica team to work with the federation, to work with the players. Them. And these are all just personal feelings. And what you'll find out that is that you'll find out that people. Because how they feel about the team, them 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 project them project that particular feeling, them project the particular feeling there, them project the particular feeling there on on everyone else. So them feel bad them them hate the federation, them hate the players them in their team, them hate everything about Jamaica about Jamaica about the reggae boys. So them project that to everybody else. The boy, no top coach, no average coach, nobody at all. No one work with the players them. Nobody no one work with this, and that is their notion. And these recent um, eye-opening conversations surrounding Dwight York, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, even Al Grimms himself, and the other names that are in the candidates, same Rene Simois, who, who looks to come back, who looking to come back, who wants to come back, with a showcase uh, that's your feeling and not necessarily the truth. The truth is there are top coaches who want the job. The truth is the reggae boy coaching job is a lucrative job because of what is at stake and what can be gained from it those are the truth so you can go into your feelings and say boy you're not going to go so this or that that is your business I don't care, I'm a gear truth, if you don't accept it so you go, for your business, so go back in your feelings again, anyways well, before I go any further people I'm going to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button now, for me personally let me tell you this, yeah when the Dwight York um, um, announcement pop out, um, first of all, people said no people never agree with it. Never, no people never want. Nobody, nobody never interested in it. I'm gonna say, why? They about say I'm not good enough. When we have to prove, when we have to show. Then now, when all the gonna social name pop up, boy, people have said, boy, yes. Some have said a Manchester United coach. Some have said, boy, he get second in the Premier League. Which must have, must have meant that boy, he can do, he can get the job done. So someone also has said he play counter attack in football. So these are all the narratives that that is being thrown ab ab abroad. Now, from my perspective, what I feel, what I think, me I tell you what I think, and this is my personal opinion about it. To me, it's not necessarily who is the coach. And um, the more me I learn about football, the more my pers the perspective of football I kind of change, I kind of far my way. It's not about the best coach, it's not about the worst coach, it's about the right coach. It's not about who you think not good enough because of this and because of that and because of that. Sometimes it takes someone with the right personality at the right moment and the right time to get the job done. Let me give you a perfect example of that. Now, you have many people watch European football, um, like English League and La Liga and this league. And if you ask them about, the, if you ask them about um, Kai Havers, many of them are, some are going to say he's no good, some are going to say no, no, no people not so many offer, people are going to say, boy, this is good enough, this, that, right, there. Kai Havers won the Champions League for Chelsea and scored one goal, one, most imp one very, very important goal, winning the Champions League for Chelsea. And it was the right moment, the right time, the right moment and the opportune time in that game for Kai Havers to score that one single goal, a one single goal there, just so that team can win the Champions League. 
So I say that to say these people. I'm going to take a walk a little bit. I say that to say these people. Sometimes we complain, sometimes we make nice. But all the friends sitting. And I tell you the truth, no fight time is unnecessary. <laughs> Plenty of time is unnecessary, people. But we as fans, we are going to make nice and we are going to, going to show it and galavan with yourself. And I've come to the conclusion that it's not about the best of the best. It's about the right, right, right person to get the job done. You won't always have the best because our world we live in. You won't have the most perfect situation. That's just how, how, how things operate. But we just want the right coach for the optimum time who will definitely, I would say, synchronize with the particular team we have at this present moment. So we get, let me give you a perfect example of that as well. So we have um, Jorgen Club. Name big, done this, win this, win all of them something. But I'm not going good. They'll get one, one coach who's not good enough. But people say, boy, I'm not ready yet, this or that. I'm, I'm not going good. So you ask yourself the question. Big name coach not going good. Average coach not going good. So what you really need? People go start point to other different things. I say, boy, the ball is not good. This a coach I never get enough this or enough that. That's how we do. So we always look something for nitpick. <laughs> There's always something to nitpick, people. There's always something to nitpick. But I, I'm come to, I've come to the belief that it's all about the universe coming to form this synchronized moment to create something magical. And my son are weird. My son are weird. And near Andre Blake say to them, and people be people be bashing feet time, you know. People be bashing feet, you know. Andre Blake did say it's not about the best players, but the right players. That's what Andre Blake said. And, and I think it goes with the same. In the world of business, you don't necessarily have the best of the best. It's just about utilizing the resources we have at the best or the optimum best. That particular resources. You can't go in a uh, if me are if me now if me now a war, me a soldier, me now, me, me now a war. And me now have a M16. <laughs> me now have a M60, but me have a pistol. You think that because uh, it's just a pistol me have. Me now gonna be effective? Hey, you can tell her. All man with blows and screw GPMG me a, <laughs> me a pick down. You have to know to be effective with what you have. So so what I'm saying is this people. Once we appoint the coach, whosoever the coach is. His name not been a big name. He not been a big name because nothing we never know about Al Grimson before. Before his appointment. No we me never know about him before appointment. And I think he, he did fairly he fe did fairly okay. Expect a little bit of but I think he, I think he did fairly okay. But at the end of the day, he came here and, and, and did a better job. Did an okay job. Which means that. You know, if you know, big name, no Mar and no, 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 no club, no, no Pep Guardiola, but someone who pers whose personality can most definitely sync with the team, sync with the players, what we have, and probably be efficient enough to get the job done. That's my two thoughts on it, people. You don't have to be about the right coach, the best coach or, or, or average coach. You don't have to be. You don't have to be the best coach in the world. You just want somebody who complements the team. Someone who complements the team and his personality can, can work well with the team. And we can get some proper, proper football from that. So, I just say go. I just say go. Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you guys again. MG Sports TV. Like, share, and subscribe. If we reach so far, I don't even know if we reach so far. See you again, people. We're out. Boom. God bless.